Hello guys and welcome to Structures Pro, the home of software, where we have something for everybody. If you are just seeing my video for the first time, I will beg you to just subscribe and give me a thumbs up and share this video. Today you are going to learn how to use chat GPT to generate start pro input file. So we can use chat, chat GPT to create some model and we import it in our start pro. You get to relax and enjoy in start pro we have a start what is called start pro editor so and in that start pro editor you see lines of codes you know so um there are two ways in which you can model in start pro is it that you open the start pro and you use the icons the add beam the add notes them and create your model or you go to start editor and type those uh, uh those codes the way they are type them if you know how to write the input files using start editor so it's an alternative uh, to the other uh, model you know the one we do with what we have been doing it's an alternative so what chat gpt does is to help us create that start file just what you just need to do is describe what the structure you want to model if you're able to describe it clearly then chat gpt will help you to translate it to to start input file and you just copy the code and paste it in start editor and your model is there so we are going to practicalize it now so what i want to do is a a portal, a portal frame so i will just ask so this chat gpt is a is an ai tool so what it does is whatever you ask whatever whatever question you put up they will provide the answer to you you can even interact you know you keep asking and they will keep answering you and giving you facts but every result you get from chat gpt is advisable you check use your experience use your knowledge to actually check the results don't just take the results as it as it comes and think that because it is ai it must be correct okay so now i'm going to ask this ai to generate generate a start Start pro input input file for a steel portal frame. For a six meter. I still put up okay meter high and 3.5 meter wide still put up okay so let me just let me just read them um, enter and see what uh, the output is going to be. So the first thing they will do is to explain the the, the question, whether the, you know, the explanation is what is there to generate a start pro input file for a simple steel portal frame with a height of six meter and a width of exactly. So then you can use the following template. This input file assumes that the frame is pinned at the basis and that the members are standard road steel sections you can adjust the material properties section property and loading as needed so that would actually added some properties the information i didn't even ask ask for you know that added more that even loaded the structure and we probably have run analysis but let me just check what say uh, what i have here you get to so i have uh, okay these are the coordinates uh -huh. this one is member indices okay member property okay so this is the member property so i will change this member property so you can still change some things with another question you get so this support is pinned i would like to use fixed so i will just simply write again i will have to again use a fixed support
use a fixed support okay and uh, I'll say use again use a uh, H HEB 200 for the column and H E one forty B for the beam. Okay, so we enter. Let's see what they are going to give to us. Okay. So it has only used fixed support. And uh, we have a HEP 200. The member property is European. So, okay, so now let's copy this. Let's copy this code. So we use copy code. Copy this code. Then we go and open our start pro. Make sure you open a fresh page, a fresh project. So when we copy this, uh, this is our, our input file. Of course, we are going to show you all the step where there's need to ch check if maybe we have any error. That's the first thing after pasting the code to check if there's any error. Then if there is no error, you proceed with uh, uh, you save and you know and start uh, checking the model. Okay, so this is our start flow. So I'm going to go to utilities and this is a command file. That is the start row input file. You open the command file. Okay. So um then we just select all and all of these and click on control V. So it has brought the code. Okay, so this is it. This is what we have. Yeah. Okay. So I'm, I'm suspecting that this might not be correct as in the way it is here, but let's check. So the first thing you do is to check syntax, check syntax if there is any error. Okay, so no error has been found. That's good. So that means we are good to go. So we just close and uh, let's see how our, our model is going to look like. Whether we have a portal frame or not. So this is the portal frame. Good. See, chat GPT has done it for us. So let us verify the dimensions. Okay, let's verify the dimension. So we have from here to here, it's supposed to be six meters. This one is 3.5 meters. That's very wonderful. Okay, so let us check the properties. We have property. Okay. So this property is not looking like what I applied. Okay, but let me check the three dimension. So let me go back to the to the to chat GPT and see what I have there. Maybe I I mistakenly did not write it well or something. Okay, so here, here is the okay. use a fixed support here, use H E B. For the column and it. so I need to specify this HEB. What is it? What is this HEB? So I supposed to have included um steel section. So I'm, I'm going to ask it again. So I use the uh, steel European sections, steel properties or something. So use HEB 200 for the columns and HEB 
140 being still 140 still properties for the beam still section properties okay so we will load again so you just keep using questions to and then more description to get what you what you want so this is is this is looking good now that's what it's supposed to be that's what it's supposed to be so i will now i will now copy the moment i saw that initial one i knew that something was wrong so this is what it's supposed to be table st this table st that that's just it so i will now copy so you have to be more specific with your description you have to describe it you know specific you have to be very very exact otherwise you will not get you will not get the the required result or expected result okay so we do control a again okay, sorry i'll copy everything here and do control v How's that? Mm -hmm. So I've pasted, so I'll check if there's any error. So no error, we're good to go. Okay, so we come back to our model. So let's see what we have. So this is it. So let's check the properties. See, it's already that's what it's supposed to be. This is confirmed. So let's check the three dimension view. That's great. This is what we have. It's correct now. So you see what that GPT can do. So you just keep writing, keep describing, keep requesting what you get, what you want. That's just the idea. So with chat GPT, you can create start input file and no matter what size it is no matter how it is once you can describe it you can get it okay so this is self weight i've already added self weight for you then they have also um the point loads they've added so you can now modify the loads you know as you wish modify the load add your load do your load combination address the so this is how 